Hi guys, welcome to another video here on my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Lakia and welcome to the Chaotic Critic family. For my returning subscribers, welcome back. Here on my channel, I share planning and organizational videos, plus so much more over on my blog, chaoticcritic.com. The link is always in the description box. The whole premise of my channel is to share with you guys how I'm crushing the chaos in my life with hopes that you'll be inspired and encouraged to crush the chaos in yours. Today, I am going to be reviewing the Clever Fox Pro Weekly Planner. I want to thank Clever Fox for sending me this planner for review, but remember, all opinions are my own. I have reviewed Clever Fox products here on my channel in the past. I will have those videos linked in the description box for you to check out if you're interested. Plus, I have a coupon code that'll save you a little coin, so enter Lakia Fox 10 when you purchase to save 10%. Without further ado, let's get into the review. First things first, let's talk packaging. This planner came in this clear box, which I love. This is gonna be great to store other planner related items in your stash. And it also came with a pro weekly how-to guide, which we will get into when we start flipping through the planner. As for the basics of this planner, it is a 12-month, non-dated weekly planner. It retails for $34.99. The size is 8.5 by 11, equivalent to an A4. It does have a soft cover with the Clever Fox logo here in the front. The color that I have is maroon. It is also available in black, rose gold, purple, turquoise, blue, orange, gold, lime green, royal blue, and amber yellow. It also has an elastic band here in the back along with three bookmarks which are great to section off the different areas of the planner as this planner does not have any tabs. There is also a pocket in the back with six sticker sheets. So this one, this first one is about finances. You have some payday, budget, icons here. Then we have some quarter boxes and a few more icons. Another sheet of icons, as you can see, each sticker sheet does have some foil detail. More quarter boxes have boxes and flags. This is a fun sheet here, and it also has the months. Again, this is an undated planner, so these stickers in particular are going to be great to map out and mark off the months that you're in. Then we have some more quarter boxes, some quotes here, and some half boxes. So those are the stickers. As for the paper quality, it is 120 GSM. And one of my favorite features about this planner is the free shipping. So let's go ahead and take a closer look inside. Moving on to the actual layout of this planner. When you open it up, there is a page for awareness and self-discovery as well as daily rituals. For my people out there that are always asking about routines, this is the page for you where you can put affirmations, what you're grateful for, things you need to remind yourself. And the awareness and self-discovery is more about your vision, your passion, and your core values. Then there is two pages for your vision board. I have not done a vision board in so long and I'm thinking of doing one. It's never too late to do one. I did do one last year, but I kind of want to do another one. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know. Then there's these, what do I want my life to be like? And it's broken into areas such as health and fitness, business and career, family and friends, relationships, finance, personal development, fun and recreation, and spiritual. And it has from one year benchmarks to five, 10, and 20 years from now. Then there are the my one year goals broken into those same areas as I just mentioned with your top goal and why you want it. And then you have the three month goals with your goals one, two, and three, why you want it, and reward if achieved, and then a mind map. A mind map is basically a brain dump of how you would take these goals and turn them into actionable steps. That's what you can do here in this space. Then we move into the monthly layout. So it's a month on two pages. You have a notes over here, your goals for the month, which can be a reflection of what it is you have going on in your three month goal game plan. Things I will do to make this month great, which includes skills and habits to learn, distractions to avoid, places to go and people to see, one thing I always wanted to do. 
Then there is a monthly review. What were my biggest wins? What were the biggest lessons learned slash insights gained? What life areas were lacking and why? And those same areas are in this circle graph here. What tasks were accomplished? were not accomplished and why? How do I feel about my progress this month on a scale of one to 10? How do I feel overall about this past month? How will I improve next month? And then it moves into the next month and so on and so forth. At the end of every three months, you have the my three month goal again with the mind map and it jumps into the next three months. And again, all 12 months are grouped together. Then, at the end of the last month, the double monthly review pages, you jump right into the weekly layout. So you have Monday through Sunday over here with the gray area for you to put in your dates. Then there's today's goal as well as your top three priorities for each day. Then on the second half of the weekly spread, you have this week's main goal, award if achieved, this week's priorities, there's a work to do, personal and life balance list, habit tracker, the three things you're excited about, then at the bottom, this week's wins, lessons learned, and how I'll improve next week. I absolutely love this aspect of the page. It's one of the things I love about this planner in general, that it's very intentional on what it is that you're trying to accomplish from your goals to self-improvement, productivity. That is what I love about this. And it's a great reflection aside from just work, work, work that you have going on and all the plans you're trying to keep up with. You have some reflection space over here. And this continues on throughout the whole entire planner. And then in the back, there is a plethora of dot grid pages, which are great for you to continue with your goal setting to put any additional notes for those days where you need to write out your actual to do list. This dot grid space is great for that. So looking at the how to guide. It basically walks you through everything that is in the planner and helps you set it up when you're unsure of what to do. I gave my tips on how to use it, but this guide gives further detail. So here's an example of the vision board. Here it is, the what do I want my life to be like? So you put your age and what you'll be in that benchmark of time. Your one year goals, how to break those down. It says to be specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. That is the SMART strategy. Then the three month goals, the mind map, which it shows you here. You put your goal and then you put the actionable steps around it. Then it has the monthly spread, the monthly review. It goes on to share with you guys how to use the weekly pages. Again, the other half of the weekly pages, the dot grid space, and then the what's next. And that is it. So if you're ever looking for more ideas on how to use it, I love that this comes with it so you don't have to guess how to use the planner or if you're unsure or you're uninspired, this is a great guide for that. Now you're probably wondering, Lakia, everything can't just be all good. You can't love everything about the planner. It's very true. I have my pros and my cons about this planner. My number one pro is the price and the free shipping. $35 for a planner that you're going to be using all year long is a great price point. I love the layout as I mentioned and the paper quality is really, really nice. But most of all, the layout I love how intentional it is to make you be more mindful of what it is that you're surrounding yourself with, what you're doing with your time, to be more mindful of your time. I love the layout aspect of that. As for the cons, this is a heavy planner. So the size is not my favorite thing about this planner at all. This is really, really big. I kind of compare this to the classic size happy planner, although it's basically in the big happy planner size to give you guys a mental size comparison. This is like carrying around a stack of 
basically printing paper it is pretty heavy the size is not compact enough for me to take on the go another thing that i don't like is that the months are grouped all together as well as the weeklies being grouped together they're not it's not like month weekly month weekly that is just a personal preference that i have i also wish that it was tabs to separate the sections that is why there are bookmarks at the bottom to work around that but again what i just mentioned is personal preference you might like a larger planner you might not mind the months and the weeks being separated again my pros and cons are personal preference as with any planner that i review but that wraps it up for this review i would love to hear from you guys in the comment section below so that wraps it up for this review. I would love to hear from you guys in the comment section below. Be sure to leave any questions or suggestions you have there. Also be sure to check out all the links in the description box, which will have links to Clever Fox, the Pro Weekly Planner, and I'll have my coupon code LakiaFox10 for you guys to use when you purchase to save 10%. Of course, I will have other related videos and the blog and Instagram. I do have a corresponding blog post with more details, so be sure to check that out. The blog is chaoticcritic.com. My Instagram is at chaoticcritic. If you're not subscribed to the Chaotic Critic fam, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!